Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Chapter 16 Transformation, Mobe 7 Demons. After investing 100,000 experience points, Su Yuxing only felt that the true chi in meridians in his body instantly increased several times. At that moment, he almost felt as if his whole body was being stretched from the inside. But soon, the soaring true chi all retracted, all retracted towards Su Yuxing Dantian. All of a sudden, Su Yuxing Dantian swelled like a crack. A large number of true chi were all squeezed into a small dantian, and when it was almost too crowded, the true chi in the middle began to collapse inward. Boom, Su Yuxing feels that own dantian is going through a shock like the beginning of the world. I don't know how long this process lasted. When Su Yuxing opened his eyes again, he looked inside himself. It was found that the true chi stuffed in dantian had all disappeared, replaced by a fist-sized white true chi vortex, which was spinning around. He tried to activate True Chi again, and the True Chi vortex spun quickly, sending out a large amount of True Chi, and walked to meridians in an instant. Then it replenished quickly, and more True Chi were continuously produced. The quality of True Chi is more than 10 times higher than before, and the recovery speed is also more than 10 times faster. I didn't expect the gap between the mortal transformation realm and the Chi gathering realm to be so big. Su Yuxing reckoned that now that he was transformed into the first stage, he should be able to easily kill ten of himself who had gathered chi before breaking through the ninth stage. Suddenly feeling itching all over his body, Su Yuxing wiped his face with his hand, and actually tore off large pieces of old dead skin. He suddenly realized, shedding, shattering, is this the so-called shattering? It's hard to imagine how pure and powerful his martial body will be after nine transformations. Su Yuxing glanced at Own's personal panel again. Open black lens bracket prisoner, Su Yuxing. Strength. Metamorphosis first stage 2433-110 thousandths. Cultivation technique. The Balrog third rank, fifth floor, 0 10 thousandths. Three slaughters saber technique. Human slaughter chapter, fourth rank, superb, 234 10 thousandths. Fifth rank, superb, 5006 10 thousandths. 5th rank, superb, 899 10 thousandths. Strong Bull Demon Fist, 7th grade. Available experience points, 3,394. As I expected, after transforming into a mortal, every leader of first level requires hundreds of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of experience points. Su Yuxing did the math, based on his current daily experience points, it would only take about 7 months to complete the process of transforming into an innate. This speed is not bad. Of course, it would be best if it could be faster. It's just that most of the prisoners on the first floor of the prison are now included in Su Yuxing's, Sin and Prison Sutra, and the potential of the first floor of the prison has almost been tapped. Unless two Mozi's performance suddenly exploded, he would not be able to get up to speed even if he wanted to. Perhaps, Su Yuxing's eyes flickered slightly, and he murmured to himself in a low voice, I should find a way and try to enter the lower dungeon. As far as Su Yuxing knows, the Great Yu Heavenly Prison has more than just one floor. The two pillar divisions of the Deyu Dynasty, the Demon Slayer Division and the Demon Slayer Division. So far, Su Yuxing has never seen a Demon Slayer. The Demon Slayer mainly catches demons and ghosts, but the first floor of the Sky Prison has never received non-human prisoners. You don't need to guess to know that all such prisoners must have been sent to the lower prison and people like Yan Huan, the old devil, were all imprisoned in the lower sky prison. If Su Yuxing can enter the lower dungeon to work, the daily experience value gains will definitely be able to climb several levels at once. However, there is no rush to enter the lower sky prison to work in a hurry. You have to find opportunities slowly and plan slowly. Dot 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 dot. On this day, Su Yuxing came to the prison early in the morning. As soon as he arrived in the prison area, a youthful-looking young jailer greeted him, Brother Su, good morning. Morning, Su Yuxing also replied with a smile. His name was Li Shang, the son of the dead jailer Li San. Li San has three sons in total, the eldest is a butcher, and the second is a scholar. As soon as Li San died, the position of the jailer needed to be replaced by someone in the family. The eldest and second child were unwilling to come, so they pushed the third child, Li Shang, who was idle all day long. Su Yuxing is 17 this year, and Li Shang is two years younger than Su Yuxing. He has been making out with Su Yuxing's buttocks all day long, 
calling out, Brother Su. Su Yuxing was grateful for Li San's kindness in leading him back then, and took good care of Li Shang on weekdays. The two of them were in the Sky Prison, so they were pretty close. Things like dogs, if they are capable of killing daddy. When daddy's brothers come, they will kill you all alive. Su Yuxing had just sat down and hadn't even had a sip of water when he heard obscenities and loud curses coming from the torture room. He glanced at the execution room and asked Li Shang, It's early in the morning, which uncle is eating pancakes? Edible oil cake is a slang word in the prison, which means torture. Li Shang smiled, leaned over, and replied in a low voice, It's the six demons of the seven demons in Mobei, they were sent by two Mozi last night. Early in the morning, the prison guard came to personally interrogate, and the trial has been up to now. Good guy, the torturer has been changed for several rounds, this guy is still so full of energy, really powerful. Mobei Seven Devils, Su Yuxing thought about it, and felt like he had heard this name somewhere. It seems that I heard from a certain prisoner that they are the seven villains who are well known in the northern border. Unexpectedly, he was also sent in by the people of Tumozi. But then again, these people deserve it. The more vicious you are on rivers and lakes, the easier it is to attract the attention of the imperial court and the Tumosi. The so-called gun shoots the first bird, if people don't catch you, who will you catch? Anyone who hangs around on Devil Dao will have such a day sooner or later. Su Yuxing sat in the rest area for more than half an hour, when the torture room door creaked open. The gloomy prison guard quickly walked out of the room, Su Yuxing and Li Shang hurriedly stood up, before they had time to salute, they left in a hurry. Then came a group of jailers who participated in the interrogation, all sweating profusely, rubbing their arms and shoulders and walking out from the inside, obviously very tired. Xiao Su, I will leave it to you. An old jailer pointed to the torture room, and said with a wry smile, it's really a hard bone. If you destroy seven or eight sets of torture instruments, my arms are numb. I really don't have the strength to move him. Good job. Su Yuxing asked the old jailer which cell the old jailer should be locked in, and called Li Shang to go in together. As soon as they entered the door, they saw a burly man with his bones pierced by chains standing on the torture rack and glaring at them viciously. Chapter 17 This person's eyes are sharp and fierce, and there is a hostility in his face. At first sight, he reminds people of vultures, wolves and the like. Proper eagle watching wolf Ji Zi Shang. Li Shang beside him shrank back subconsciously. Su Yuxing didn't change his face, striding forward to put the shackles on people. Chi Chi Chi. The big man looked at Su Yuxing who was approaching him, let out a strange smile, and suddenly spat out a mouthful of bloody phlegm at him. But I don't know whether it was intentional or not, Su Yuxing just leaned over and locked his body to avoid the thick phlegm. On the contrary, Li Shang, who was following Su Yuxing, was vomited and screamed strangely from nausea. Ha ha, the big man laughed out loud. Li Shang was so angry that his face turned red, and he punched and kicked the big man as soon as he came up. The latter didn't care, but laughed even louder. Too light, too light, you little dog is weaker than those old dogs before. Didn't you have enough milk this morning? You, Li Shang was still young, his eyes turned red when he was shocked by the big man's words. He suddenly drew out the saber from his waist and was about to attack him, but Su Yuxing gently stopped him with his hand. What is your rivalry with a dying man? Su Yuxing glanced at the big man, and said calmly, let him vomit, let's see how long he can vomit. As soon as Su Yuxing said this, the big man's laughter stopped abruptly, and the whole person fell silent. Pooh, the hot blood on Li Shang's head cooled down slowly, he spat on the big man, and stopped making trouble. Immediately afterwards, the two successfully removed the big man from the torture rack and brought him out of the torture room. Xu Shi was stimulated by Su Yuxing's previous words, the big man didn't say a word all the way, his head was lowered, and he didn't know what he was thinking. Wait until Su Yuxing and the two send him to the cell. The silent big man suddenly raised his head, fixed his eyes on Su Yuxing, and said fiercely, the seven heroes of Mobei are one body, and they live and die together with wealth. Now that I'm in trouble, do you think others won't come to rescue me? Die, I really want to see who will die first between you and me. Quote. I don't know if I said this to Su Yuxing or to himself. Su Yuxing ignored it directly. He didn't know how many similar words he had heard in the prison this year. 
those who come here, as long as they have brothers, sisters, relatives, friends, etc., they imagine that the other party can try their best to fish him out outside. But Su Yuxing has handled so many prisoners, and few of them were actually caught. Such as Mobe Seven Demons are even more impossible. Even if their friendship is as good as they say, Pityan Pityan came to rescue him. When the Deu Heavenly Prison is a brothel, you can come in and out as you want. If you want to save people, you need to have the ability to save people. This place is full of barriers, and the place is like an iron barrel. If you dare to come, it is a dead end. Su Yuxing ignored the other party, locked the cell door and left. Before leaving, he glanced at the Sutra of Sin and Prison, and there was already an extra page in Sutra of Sin and Prison. Prisoner, Wu Tang, Sin Points, Three Stars, Strength, Qi Gathering Eighth Stage, Status, In Custody, Capture Participation, 1%, Benefit, 25 Experience Points Per Hour. Well, it's almost the same as Shu Kuishin back then. It's okay, it didn't insult the great title of Seven Demons of Mobe. To be honest, Su Yuxing really wanted the remaining six of the Mobe Seven Devils to come and rob the prison. This guy gathers Qi Eighth Stage, but he is only ranked sixth among the Seven Demons of Mobe. In other words, there are at least five murderers with similar strength or even stronger than him. Wouldn't it be a huge profit if a piece was delivered to your door? Hurry up, come here. Su Yuxing was looking forward to it. Kama, Wu Tang, the sixth demon among the seven demons in Mobe, was sent to the Sky Prison, which was just a small episode. It did not affect Su Yuxing's peaceful heavenly prison warden life. As usual, he was clocked every day, on duty, on patrol, and, rubbed, around and detained. Li Shang, on the other hand, has hated Wu Tang since he was humiliated once. The first thing I do when I come here every day is to trouble Wu Tang. Either peeing into the opponent's job, or spitting at Wu Tang through the prison bars, and sometimes hitting him with dung and stones. Wu Tang was so angry that he screamed. Su Yuxing didn't bother to care about him either. For children, it is normal for Yazi to report. After half a month like this, suddenly one day Li Shang asked for leave. Please for three days. When I came back three days later, it was like a different person. Although he still went to look for Wu Tang every time he went to the Yaman, it was not as troublesome as before. Su Yuxing saw several times that Li Shang was standing outside Wu Tang's cell, holding a long knife out of its sheath in his hand, his eyes fixed on the inside, as if he wanted to rush in and kill him at any time. Su Yuxing felt strange, and wanted to find an opportunity to ask Li Shang about it. But maybe the new year is approaching, and the people from several divisions in the court really want to make a wave of performance, and the number of new criminals in the dungeon has become much more frequent. Sometimes even several can come in a day. There are both civil and military criminals, and two-thirds of the cells on the first floor of the Sky Prison are full. Su Yuxing became busy, all of a sudden, running around seven fonts every day, and didn't care about Li Shang's weirdness. Kama, kacha kacha, Su Yuxing let out a long mouthful of foul air and stood up. Wipe the neck and arms with both hands to remove large areas of dead skin. Transcendence Third Stage At Dantian, besides the original one, there are two more white true chi swirls. The total amount of true chi has increased several times, and the return speed has been several times faster. In addition, Su Yuxing went up to the sixth floor of the Golden Body of the Balrog. The sixth floor of Balraji Golden Body has another extremely exaggerated improvement in the increase of strength, defense and true chi. Su Yuxing even felt that even if he didn't use true chi right now, he could still fight against the warriors in the mortal realm just by relying on his physical body. According to this progress, I will be promoted to innate within seven months. Su Yuxing was in a good mood. During this period, the number of prisoners on the first floor of the prison increased sharply, and his daily income also increased accordingly almost doubled. The number of prisoners recorded in the Sin and Prison Sutra is almost 200. After taking a shower and putting on clean clothes, Su Yuxing walked out slowly. Entering the Sky Prison area, passing a certain cell, a gray head popped out of it and shouted at him, Brother Su, have pity on the little old man. Can you bring some straw cotton for the little old man, the weather is really unbearable at night. Su Yuxing looked at Zhao Shilin, who was trembling and spit out white air, and then remembered. 
It turns out that Yu Jing has already entered winter. No wonder during this period of time, I always felt that my colleagues in prison looked at own strangely. He, Marshal Dao, has transformed into a mortal being, and he is also in charge of the sixth floor, golden body of fire demon, with surging firepower in his body, he can't feel the cold air of heaven and earth at all. Forget about changing seasons. If it is delayed for a few more days, I am afraid that people will see the clues. Master Zhao, you always helped me again. Su Yuxing hurriedly turned back and changed his winter clothes, leaving Zhao Shilin with a dazed face sitting in the prison, not knowing why. What? What did I do for you? Chapter 18 Su Yuxing went back and changed into winter clothes. In order to thank Zhao Shilin for reminding him, he also brought him a quilt. Several civil prisoners in the next cell saw them and begged Su Yuxing to give them a bed, or hay, as long as it could keep out the cold. Su Yuxing is not so kind anymore, he cares about their life and death. When staying in a hotel, one by one can't provide a few experience points every day, and you still want a quilt. Take it hard, when passing by the cell number 57, he glanced at Wu Tang, the sixth demon of Mobei. Although there has been a surge in the number of inmates in the Sky Prison recently, and the cells are almost full, Wu Tang is still the, key care, object of Wu Zihao. After more than half a month of punishment, this guy's bones are not as hard as when he first came in, but his mouth is still old. Seeing Su Yuxing, he sneered at him, as if waiting to give him a good look. Seeing Wu Tang, Su Yuxing suddenly thought of Li Shang. It seems that Li Shang hasn't been on duty for many days. Su Yuxing frowned slightly, wondering if he should visit Li's house after he was released from office. No matter how people call him, Brother Su, he should be concerned about it. But never thought that Li Shang asked someone to find him first. Is there something urgent for me? Let me go to the mountain temple in the suburbs of Beijing as soon as possible. It was Li Shang's second brother Li Xing who came to deliver the letter. In his twenties, he was still wearing a white autumn robe in the winter, his nose was red from the cold, and he was shivering, looking like a bookworm. Do you know why Li Shang is looking for me? Su Yuxing wanted to ask the other party more, but Li Xing waved his hands repeatedly, saying that he didn't know anything, and asked Su Yuxing to ask Li Shang himself, and he had to rush back to study. Su Yuxing could only give up and let the other party go. What can Li Shang do with me? If you don't come to the prison, you have to go to the mountain temple outside the city. If I remember correctly, hasn't that mountain temple been abandoned for many years? Su Yuxing couldn't guess what kind of medicine was sold in Li Shang's calabash. But in the end I decided to go. Let's see what the hell Li Shang has been doing during this time. Anyway, he has transformed into the third stage now, with the six-story realms, Blaze Golden Body, and the superb Rentu Saber technique, even a thousand or ten thousand Li Shang can't make any trouble in front of him. On the day of the release, Su Yuxing tidied up a bit, changed into casual clothes, and rushed out of the city. Dot dot, on the outskirts of Yujing, inside the mountain temple. Li Shang curled up at the foot of a dilapidated god statue, his eye sockets were slightly sunken, and he looked haggard, like a frightened little animal. Not far from him, four tall or short, fatter thin men and women gathered together and were talking about things. I've checked, and the defense on the first floor of the Deyu Heavenly Prison isn't very tight, and there's only a small team of Tumosi guarding it on weekdays. Among them, the strongest one is only in the Qi Gathering realm. Then what are you waiting for Dage, we will go to the prison now and rescue the sixth brother. Idiot, this is the capital of Emperor Deyu, at the foot of the Son of Heaven. There are more masters than lice in your head. If we rushed in directly, before we saw the sixth brother, we would have been hacked to death by the strong men of Tumosi and Yaojansi who rushed over after hearing the news. Quote, Third sister is right, so the safest way is to find an opportunity to sneak into the dungeon first, and then find a way to escape after the sixth brother is rescued. A few people were talking, and one of them, a bald, wide-mouthed, crocodile-looking ugly man suddenly turned his head and yelled at Li Shang who was curled up under the statue. Boy, when will the person you mentioned come? Did you send someone to look for it? Be careful, fourth master, I will tear you apart. Quote. Li Shang was so frightened by the ugly man that he trembled all over, fell to his knees with a plop, kowtowed and shouted, I found it. I asked my second brother to find it. Sirs, please wait a little longer, I think that person, that person, should come. 
Quote. Okay. Fourth brother, don't scare him. When he went home to find someone, I followed him and didn't lie to us. The only woman among the four of them scolded the ugly man, then looked at Li Shang with a pleasing expression and said, Little brother, you tell my sister, the person you were looking for really has a way for us to sneak into the sky prison. The woman was wearing a red dress, with a pretty face and a hot figure. The large expanse of snow-white skin exposed on his body was extremely alluring, and Li Shang, who watched Blood Chi Fang Gang, couldn't help swallowing a few mouthfuls of saliva. The woman in the red dress didn't seem to mind him watching at all, instead she took the initiative to lift her body and gave him a wink. Li Shang hurriedly lowered his head. He has been with these people for a while, and knows who they are. He saw with his own eyes that the woman abducted seven or eight strong men to play in the temple within three days, and then dug out the hearts and livers of each other to eat raw, just like the female ghost Yaksha in a novel. The seven demons of Mobei are all devils with no humanity and no lower limit. Li Shang knelt on the ground with his head down, tremblingly replied. My senior is an old man on the first floor of the prison. The seven trade names all have connections, and it is said that they are related to the former jailer. I think it is absolutely impossible to bring someone into the dungeon, but if he bring everyone in, it should, should not be a problem. Quote. Better as you said. The ugly man snorted coldly and bared his teeth at him. Li Shang suddenly trembled again. The leader of the four, a middle-aged man with good looks and refined temperament smiled and comforted Li Shang and said, if little brother Li can really help us rescue the sixth brother this time, then he will be our friend of Mo Bei Shi Shang from now on. If you want to be rich, we will let you enjoy the glory forever. If you want to practice martial arts, the few of us will pass on all we have learned, and in the future replace my poor fifth and seventh brothers who died, and join our Shi Shang, and you are welcome. Ruya's middle-aged words made Li Shang's heart pound. Although these people are fierce, their strength is really high. Li Shang has seen it a thing or two. If it is true as Ruya middle-aged said, join them, practice martial Dao, drink and eat meat from now on, and enjoy rivers and lakes. It seems that it is not impossible. Which teenager doesn't have a dream of being a strong man? Li Shang lowered his head and thought about it, but he didn't see it at all. The four Mobei demons standing in front of him looked at the flickering expressions on his face, each of them looked at each other, their eyes were full of sarcasm and laughter. Just when Li Shang was looking forward to the future, the expressions of the four people in the temple suddenly changed. Among them, the ugly man got up quickly, flew towards the gate of the temple, took a look, then turned around and said, someone is here. The eyes of the other three people flickered slightly, and the elegant middle-aged leader immediately grabbed Li Shang and walked quickly to the entrance of the mountain temple. Chapter 19 Several people looked up. I saw a person walking along the narrow path outside the mountain temple. The person who came was wearing a dark blue robe, young and handsome, if he hadn't had no entourage at his side, he looked like a rich man who went out for an outing in winter. It's him. The elegant middle-aged man lowered his head and asked Li Shang. Yes yes, Li Shang nodded desperately, looking like he was heaving a sigh of relief. You are so handsome, let me have fun for three days later. The woman in the red skirt stared intently at the man who looked like a handsome young man, sticking out her tongue to lick her lips continuously, her two long legs couldn't help but clamp together. After it's done, you can play for a few days if you want. The Ruya middle-aged man said something, then stretched out his hand and pushed, throwing Li Shang out of his hand. Ah, Li Shang was caught off guard and screamed, and when his body calmed down, he was already outside the mountain temple. Li Shang, why are you looking for me? Su Yuxing looked at Li Shang in front of him and spoke calmly. Su, brother Su, Li Shang hesitated, his eyes dodged, as if he didn't dare to look at him at all. Su Yuxing pretended to glance into the mountain temple unintentionally, then turned to Li Shang and said, since you are fine, then I will go. Wait. Brother Su, seeing that Su Yuxing was about to leave, Li Shang hurried forward a few steps, as if trying to stop him. At this time, four people slowly walked out of the mountain temple. A person looks dignified, elegant and easygoing, at first glance he looks like a gentleman, but if you look at it for a long time, you will feel that this person has a knife hidden in his smile, and his eyes are even more cruel and vicious. One person's face was wrapped in black cloth, his face could not be seen clearly, his figure was thin and his temperament was like a ghost. 
One person is slim in a red dress, smiling like a flower. The other was bald and wide-mouthed, vicious and ugly. The four of them looked at Su Yuxing coldly, with smiles on their faces, like watching a little mouse in a urn. Seeing the four of them coming out, Li Shang seemed to have grown a little more courageous, and even dared to look Su Yuxing in the eye. Brother Su, these are the four heroes of the Mobe Seven Heroes. I came to you this time because I want you to do them a favor. You want me to help them save Wu Tang. Su Yuxing spoke. The Ruya middle-aged man among the four smiled and said, This little brother is really smart, Yuan always likes dealing with smart people the most. Su Yuxing glanced at this person, thought for a while, and immediately said to Li Shang, Li Shang, come here. Come back with me now, and I'll pretend nothing happened. Quote. Ha ha. Su Yuxing had just finished speaking when the ugly man and the woman in the red dress laughed among the four. This little brother is not only handsome, but also very interesting to talk. The woman in the red dress giggled and trembled. The elegant middle-aged man and the masked man looked at Su Yuxing as if they were looking at a fool. But Su Yuxing didn't look at the people at all, his eyes only fell on Li Shang, staring at him fixedly, as if waiting for his answer. Li Shang took a step towards the retreat, smiled wryly and said, Brother Su, you can help them, whether it's for me or for yourself. Well, Su Yuxing sighed, as if he didn't get the answer he wanted, and the sigh was full of regret. The seven heroes and four demons of Mobe listened to Su Yuxing and Li Shang's talk, and they already showed impatience, and they were about to make a move. But suddenly, the figure of the handsome young man in front of him disappeared suddenly. When he reappeared, he was already in front of the ugly man among the four, and he punched him in the head. How courageous, you know who we are and dare to take the initiative. The ugly man laughed back angrily, and when he saw the fist technique used by the other party, he laughed even louder. The bull devil's powerful fist. Ha ha, only three-year-olds can use this punch. But when the fist fell, the ugly man's laughter stopped abruptly, his eyes widened, and he felt as if a huge mountain fell down in front of him. Rumble, like heaven and earth falling apart. Ah. The ugly man let out an angry roar, his whole body was full of energy and blood, and his arms were raised up, as if supporting the sky. But this situation collapsed in an instant. Kacha kacha. As soon as the ugly man's arms touched the falling fist, they snapped like straws. The fist is like a broken bamboo, driving straight in. All the way down, directly smashed the ugly man to the ground. Boom, there was a loud noise, smoke and dust rose everywhere, and the ground seemed to shake violently. When the smoke and dust dispersed, the ugly man was lying on the ground with a hideous face and twisted body. A piece of his chest was completely sunken, and a huge blood hole was broken. Under the blood hole, there was a big pit several meters deep. Blood flowed out of his body and dripped into the pit. Punching by a three-year-old, Su Yuxing slowly withdrew his right fist, looked at the ugly man's body, and said calmly, it's enough to kill you. The other three demons on the field, and one Li Shang, all stared blankly at the scene in front of them, as if they couldn't believe it was real. After a few breaths, the elegant middle-aged man who was the leader of the three demons let out a strange cry, and looked at Su Yuxing as if seeing a ghost, and even his voice was distorted. Shedding, shedding, you are actually a master of shedding realm. You do have some eyesight. Su Yuxing praised, and with a flash of his figure, he appeared in front of the elegant middle-aged man like a fleeting image. With his right hand palmed together in a saber gesture, he slashed at the opponent's head. Human butcher knife. In an instant, a monstrous murderous aura gushed out from Su Yuxing's hands. Within a radius of one mile, the temperature dropped sharply by more than 10 degrees, as if the time had passed from early winter to deep winter, and even the light dimmed a bit. The elegant middle-aged man's eyes were about to burst, and he was about to run away with a roar. Amidst the murderous aura, a palm as bright as scarlet jade fell down, slashing at his chest with a trace of flame. Crack. The elegant middle-aged man flew out like a sandbag and hit the wall of the mountain temple behind him heavily, knocking down half of the mountain temple directly. Su Yuxing withdrew his hand and glanced to the side. The thin masked man who was caught by his eyes trembled suddenly, and then shot out to one side. Su Yuxing flipped his palm casually. A blazing flame air knife protruded from the edge of the palm, and hit the man's body in an instant. The latter fell to the ground like a bird with its wings broken, without moving. After Su Yuxing had finished all this, he heard a, clack clock, 
sound of teeth chattering. He looked back and saw that the woman in the red dress among the four demons was looking at him in horror, shaking from head to toe. Seeing Su Yuxing looking at him, the face of the woman in the red dress turned pale, she managed to squeeze out a charming smile, and said, Senior martial arts are peerless, I wish to use myself as a couch, to serve day and night. Good, Su Yuxing nodded, just as a hint of surprise appeared on the face of the woman in the red dress, a palm had already lightly landed on her forehead. Boom, the watermelon burst open, red and white scattered all over the place. Think about it and forget it. After all, I have lived in the sky prison for a long time, and it is not easy to bring women in the sky prison. Su Yuxing looked at the headless body of the woman in the red skirt and said to himself. Finally, his eyes finally fell on Li Shang. Chapter 20. Li Shang was completely dumbfounded. His expression was in a trance, everything that happened before his eyes was like a dream to him. He couldn't figure it out at all. Why does the one in the sky prison look ordinary, except for Su Zhe who is a little more handsome? Why did he suddenly transform into a master of some kind of metamorphosis? The four demons of Mobe who have a fierce reputation and dare to rob even the prison. In just a few breaths, he was slapped one by one. Kill it clean. Li Shang's thinking was confused, looking at Su Yuxing in front of him, he couldn't distinguish between illusion and reality. Well, seeing Li Shang like this, Su Yuxing couldn't bear it. But he had already given Li Shang a chance, but Li Shang himself didn't grasp it. Although he was held hostage by the four devils of Mobei, but he was able to attract himself, I am afraid that he was already prepared to take himself as a victim. Uncle Li, I have already repaid your favor. Xiao Shang himself did something wrong. I really can't blame it. Quote, Su Yuxing said to himself, shook his head, and lightly patted Li Shang's forehead. Li Shang fell to the ground. Su Yuxing looked at Li Shang's body silently for a while, then took him away and buried him in a field five miles away. Let's forget about it. Su Yuxing walked away. Comma. A day later, a group of people stood outside the mountain temple, looking at the mess and four corpses. These people are armed with knives and armor, and there is a kind of cold and iron blood on their bodies. Among them is the leader, dressed in a brocade black cloak, with long hair tied high behind his head by a silver ring, looking extremely sassy and glamorous. If Su Yuxing was here, he would be able to recognize that this person was the female demon slayer official surnamed Shangguan who had been to the prison once. Everyone in Tu Mozi checked the corpses on the ground one by one, then walked up to Shangguan Yu, and reported, my lord, it should be the remaining four demons of the seven demons in Mobei. I don't know who was killed here. Quote, Shang Guan Yu sneered and said, The seven demons of Mobei. Dot the last time they killed two of them and arrested one, they dared to come to Yujing without fear. I heard that the seven demons of Mobei have always been one of seven people, and they are extremely united. Could it be that they wanted to rob the prison to save their sixth child? Quote, Probably so. Subordinates agree. Shang Guan Yu glanced at the corpses on the ground, and said calmly, can you tell the identity of the murderer from their wounds? The others thought for a while and replied, looking at the marks of the wound, the murderer should have repaired the blaze demon golden body from Kai Yang Temple. Each of the four demons in Mobei has the strength above eighth stage of qi gathering, and the leader, Yuan Mo, has already transformed into a mortal, but he can't even catch this man's hand knife. This person's accomplishments in the golden body of the flame demon. I am afraid that he has reached above the sixth floor. It has at least the strength of the eighth stage realm. Quote. Shang Guan Yu's eyes flickered slightly upon hearing this. The golden body of the flame demon is known as the most difficult cultivation technique in Kai Yang Temple. At the beginning of cultivation, the whole body needs to be covered with charcoal, and then there are stoves, open flames, lava volcanoes, and even boiling hot molten iron to wash the body. Many people died before they could even reach the fifth floor, and those who could reach the sixth floor. There are not many in the entire Kai Yang Temple. Quote. Shang Guan Yu thought for a while, and immediately ordered, take all the corpses back, and let the people of Kai Yang Temple in the two divisions recognize it, which master in their temple did it. Yes, the subordinate nodded and quickly put away the four corpses. Then a group of people surrounded Shang Guan Yu and left in a hurry. Comma. After Su Yuxing finished solving the matter of the mountain temple, he went straight back to the prison. After killing the four demons in Mobei, he won twelve lucky draws without any accident. 
he smoked as much as he could. He got two fourth rank martial arts, three fifth rank martial arts, and hundreds of thousands of experience points. Fifth rank is not worth mentioning, two fourth rank martial arts, one of which is Qinggong. It's called Snake Walking Ghost Step. Different from the Floating Light skill, this Qinggong is better at moving and dodging in a small area. Once cast, the action seems to completely violate the laws of physics, extremely erratic. Realm attainments have also reached a state of perfection, which is a good supplement to Su Yuxing's movement technique. The other one is a relatively rare claw skill called Seven Evil Bone Claws. It was extracted from the leader's elegant middle-aged body, and Realm also reached the state of perfection. Having said that, Su Yuxing didn't realize that the elegant middle-aged man was also a mortal after killing the other party. In the Transcendence Realm, there is a fourth-rank superb realm martial arts in him, so it stands to reason that his strength will not be too weak. Why can't even take a move by myself? After thinking about it, Su Yuxing probably came to the conclusion that he was too strong. After all, he has 80 if not 100 martial arts. All attainments are not low, even if each martial art only strengthens a certain aspect of him a little bit, the sum is an extremely terrifying number. Although he is only a third stage on the surface, but when he really fights. It is estimated that the eighth stage may not be his opponent. So I'm so strong. Su Yuxing suddenly woke up. Before he knew it, he had grown into a martial Dao monster. Su Yuxing sighed, added hundreds of thousands of experience points, and raised his own cultivation base by two levels, reaching the fifth stage of transformation. It's still a good deal to do it yourself. The arrest participation rate is 100%, and the harvest is full. Quote. Su Yuxing thought, if every once in a while a few people like the Mobe Seven Demons come to die, it is estimated that he will be able to directly advance to the innate Great Master within a few months. It's a pity that it's rare to send a boy to death. Not to mention taking the initiative to deliver to his door. The jailer, stop, stop for me. On this day, when Su Yuxing walked outside a cell, the person inside suddenly called out to stop him. Turning around, I saw a person staring at him with red eyes, and opened his mouth to ask, you. Let me ask you, where is that kid who always likes to pee in my bowl? Why is he not here? Quote, I don't know. Su Yuxing looked at the other party and said calmly, why, I haven't tasted his urine for a long time, do you still miss it? Well, the people in the prison were at a loss for words for a while, and couldn't speak for a long time. Suddenly he lowered his head again, and murmured in a distraught voice, you shouldn't, you shouldn't. Dage, they should have rescued me sooner. Why has it dragged on for so long and there is no movement? After reading for a while, the eyes suddenly glowed again. I see, they must want to rob the court. Dage and the others must want to rob the court. Ha ha, how stupid of me to not even think of that. How could Dage and the others abandon me? Su Yuxing looked at Wu Tang, the sixth demon among the seven demons of Mobei, who was talking to himself, and was ecstatic, with a hint of pity in his eyes. He was thinking that if he told the other party now, but don't wait, I killed all the rest of your family, and now I'm waiting for you to go down and have a family reunion. Will Wu Tang go crazy on the spot? Forget it. Su Yuxing shook his head and whispered to himself, having hope until death is not a kind of happiness. After all, Wu Tang had already had his head cut off, and he was going to the execution ground tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.